Welcome to the weekly. This week, we answer the question, how do I feel after the ballot has been cast? Stay tuned. So how are we supposed to feel after casting our ballot for this presidential election? Many people are so focused on what is going to happen tomorrow. They will be intently watching news programs all day long, checking their Twitter and their Instagram and their Facebook, trying to figure out what poll is saying what and what exit poll is saying this and who's ahead in this state and who's ahead in this state. And People will stay up late tomorrow night uh, just trying to figure out who has won. Well, no matter who wins, how are you supposed to feel? And I believe the word of God gives us the focal point. In Philippians chapter four and verse six, it says, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. And then he says this, and and Paul was so eloquent as he speaks to these people. He, He loves them so much and he calls them his beloved, the beloved. And so beloved, I say to you, finally, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Did you catch that? Anything that is virtuous, Anything that is praiseworthy, anything that is true and pure, meditate on that. Not what others are saying, not what others are trying to get you to believe, but what is the truth? Meditate on that. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, this is what Paul says, these do and the peace of God will be with you. Here's the deal. Last week we said you pray, you participate, and then you prove the perfect will of God. Well, this week you cast your ballot and you know what you do? You leave it to God. God is in control. He will not be surprised. He will not be overtaken. He is victorious. Let the peace of God guard your heart and guard your mind in this season. And we do, we do believe that there is a moment coming for America where revival will sweep across this land once again. And God will be glorified and thousands upon thousands upon thousands will come to Jesus. I want to be a part of that. Do you? Man, God bless you guys. Thanks for subscribing and tuning in this week to the weekly.